guys, Jason Lano here. Today is Vlogmas Day number six, and well, Christmas has come early for me. The reason why I say that is because recently I tried to apply for a job uh, at the resort I work at, and well, I got it, so I'm totally excited for that. But since some of you may not have an idea what I'm talking about, let me give a little quick history lesson for you. So back in 2009, I left my construction job and started working at Blue Mountain Resorts in Ontario, Canada. Obviously, it's a resort. It's in fact a ski resort because you know, we're Canadian, let's be honest, we have ski resorts. And uh, so I started working there, and I ended up working in the housekeeping, and I was there for, what is it, like, doing that whole six and a half years, I guess you could say. And I started off, obviously, at the bottom, uh, and I, like, just, you know, as, like, a runner, you know, a helper, things. And worked my way pretty much through the department, and experienced pretty much every position, at least one way or another, until I got to where I am today, which is... I would have to say a, it's weird because they call me a public spaces associate, but to describe it to you guys, I would have to say uh, a large equipment cleaner. So I dealt with all the large equipment, like the carpet machines, the floor scrubbers, and I, you know, I fixed them, I used them, I trained with them, I taught people how to use them, you know, just to the wide range of these things. And, uh, you know, I was okay with the position, I really was, but... Deep down, I kind of always knew I wanted to go back to construction at least one way or another. And when I saw the opportunity arise for the engineering position, or maintenance man, whatever you guys want to call it, I thought I'd take it. And, you know, the reason why is because I thought this time I had a good chance. Because in the past, I did apply for it. Uh, and I didn't really get it because, well, I wasn't really too established within the company yet. Um, and it's not always about who you know to get a job. But it doesn't really hurt to know some people, right? Uh, because at least that way they can actually see the enthusiasm instead of just trying to read it. So this was the year that I thought I'd apply, and quite frankly, I was excited. In fact, uh, I apparently made so many friends over the time I've been there that I had a lot of good references. So I was totally happy about that. It was probably one of the most flattering moments I've had uh, within the time I've been in the company. I didn't think that many people actually respected me on a business level you know obviously I, I joke around I, you know I made a lot of friends and you know I'm a good person to talk to once you get to know me but I did not think business wise people people had that much you know like hope for me it was, it was great it was a phenomenal feeling so definitely excited for that I'll be starting that Monday uh, so you know you might hear a little bit of stories of well nothing crazy but you might hear some new stories and uh, yeah just wanted to share that with you guys on this lovely vlog of the day. So, guys, do me that favor. Go down below. Drop me some comments because I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'd love to hear if there's ever, you know, a little, I guess you could say, dream or hope that you've tried to work at and you've kind of given up on. Because, in the end, you really shouldn't give up on it. Like, look at me. I did it since 2009 and, you know, six and a half years later, pretty much got it. Might sound odd to you, but it sounds good to me. But, yeah, I'd like to hear those stories. And also... Hit the like, share, and subscribe to spread that love. And I'll see you guys next time.